Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about UV mapping and, uh, uh, and a new tool called Wrap R that uh, I'm beta testing and it's available for, uh, it's an open beta test so anyone can get access to it. Um, Wrap R is, you can go to wraprr.com, there it is right there, and you'll see basically talks about what, what, what UV mapping really is. So uh, so basically UV mapping is the ability to, uh, a friend of mine <laughs> told me recently, it's like taking a bear, skinning a bear and making a bear skin out of it. So you basically want to take different planes of an object and flatten it out so that you can more properly UV map it or more properly add textures to it. It's called UV mapping. So, uh, first I'm going to make a kind of a little bed here. Uh, I'm going to take this group it, go to my extensions and say center on origin there and I'll edit this, push pull it up, maybe like something like that. This is a really quick kind of a uh, lounge kind of thing going on. Okay, let's see, let's add. There we go, and maybe I'll take here. Okay. Look at this. Push pull this off. Uh, turn it here. Let's look at all that. Okay, here we go. So uh, here's a surface. Let's go ahead and uh, while we have it here, I'm going to go ahead and raise these corners. Oops. And there we have it. So you can see that. Uh, let's uh, select all. Oops. Select this, and we'll do joint push pull. Make something like that. Okay. So so there's our object. It's uh, grouped. Now I'm going to add this this material to it. And as you can see. None of this material lines up correctly. And it's really one of the reasons why we want to UV map it. We want to fix that, right? So the way I'm going to do that uh, is I'm going to use this UV map, this uh, or this wrap R tool. Uh, and in order to use that, you have to have a component, right? So this is a component. It's, in my, it's shown in my components, right? There it is. So, uh, oops. So this component is... Um, one thing that's not those, in, in, so, so one thing that, that RAPR is going to need, it needs a component. It can't use a group. The other thing it needs is, let's go ahead, well, while we're here, let's go back to the model. There we are. Okay, so let's go back to this model. And one thing we've got to do is we're going to have to triangulate this. We have too many. You can't use n-gons in uh, UV mapping. So we're going to go into this TIGS triangulate uh, faces and selection. And we'll just let this go. It'll take a little bit. Now that it's all triangulated, I can triple click on it and then go into my smoothing. And I can get it back to where it was. So I've got a smoothing of about 18 degrees there. So it looks, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now that I've got that done, let's select all these. Let's go back into my materials and add them. And we'll see we still have the same problems. Okay, so now we have to triangulate it. We have it in a group. We're ready to go ahead and and uh, start to uh, uh, define the seams. And so what we do is we click on this little button up here, and I'm going to hold the I'm going to tap the control key, and I'll turn to orange. And I'm going to hit once, and then as I drag it, you'll see it stays orange. And I'm going to keep dragging it. And if I want to, I can click at any time. It doesn't matter. And it's going to, so this is a temporary selection, this orange is, right? So I'm just coming around this corner. I want to basically keep this kind of continuously moving. Here we go. Some more. And I can just move around and click and click and click. You get the idea. So this is a kind of a fast way of marking seams for UV, for the UV islands. So I think I've got it all here. Once I've got it, I can hit the enter key turns it to green and I'm going to just flip around and do the side here, the bottom side. 
uh -oh, notice it jumped jumped it jumped out of there so i'm gonna back up if i see it jump out i'll back up a little farther let me make sure that it stays on my on my path here uh oh notice there we had a little, a little problem there let's make sure that, see we've got if you notice right here ah so we didn't so there we kind of screwed up so what i want to do now is because it's yellow it's it's, it's orange i kind of screwed this one up because you can see that it's actually it's actually yeah it's not it's not getting the right the right seam so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually hit the shift key and that deletes my whole thing i'm going to hit tap the control key again and i'm going to start over again so I'm going to shut up now and I'll fast forward through this. Okay, now we're done here. You can see that we've got those two, those seams all marked fine. Now that I've got this done, I want to exit out of the component. And well, and then select it, and then hit this button that says "Go to Wrap R." Just ask me to save my file first. I'll go to uh, here, and now we'll open it up. So this is our object as it comes in. You can see it's barely recognizable. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to go into UV Tools. Uh, mapping and check this LSM. Now I've got things that look a little bit better. This doesn't, I don't like the way this looks. So this 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 window you can actually rotate around just like in SketchUp. The only difference in this one is that you right click to pan, whereas in SketchUp you don't right click to pan. So, um, okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to actually add some more cut lines, some more seams. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to hit the cut button, and you see it's moving things around as I do that. I'm going to pull over here, hit this one, hit the cut button, again moving things around. Oops, let's undo that. Yeah, for some reason that cut button. Yeah, let's go back to this one, and we'll cut that one. Okay. And actually, I think we're pretty good. I think that's going to work for us just like that. So now I want to move these around a little bit. And the way I do that is you use this tool here, which is the U key. And you can drag this. And if you, if you drag more than one vertice, then you hit the M key, um, you can move that object around. But actually, what I want to do is it's all just a little too big it's, it's, it's hugging the sides a little bit so i'll hit the u key again i'm gonna select everything i'm gonna hit the s key for scale and i'm gonna just move it down just a little bit okay just i want to reduce it just a little bit and then i'll hit the u key and select now one thing i want to show you is that if i want to uh if i want to rotate something right i can select some vertices and i can hit the uh the the use the rotate key right here and if I hold the shift key down before I click, I can start to rotate in increments of what, five degrees. So I can get maybe 10 degrees. I don't know what it is, but I can get perfect rotations that way. Um, so, uh, but actually what I want to do is I want to actually move them. So I'm going to hit the U key again, deselect, grab some of those here. I'll hit the M key to move them again. There's the next ones. I don't want them touching because uh, depending on how I end up mapping later on, I want to, might have one a little bleed out of there. You again, and uh, and then these. I'm gonna uh, and I'm not gonna rescale them either. If I rescale them, I rescale them all at once because I want I know that texture is gonna be the same on here. I want the texture scale to be the same on here as it is on here. So uh, for this particular object, sometimes you do rescale them. But okay, let's move this over. And uh, and we'll do this one too. Okay. And once we get this done, okay, we're gonna basically we have that done. I'm gonna say file save. 
model is saved. Do you want to continue editing? Yes, reload model continue. I say no. I'm going to say no. And I'll come back in here and I right click on this. And I'll go down to wrap R. And you can't see it. It's off screen. So you can see it. Let's see. There it is. Wrap R. And we'll say reload from wrap R. So now we've reloaded the scene. You can see now it, it, it textures quite nicely. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into this particular material that I've got in the model. And I'm going to edit this material. Uh, let's see. This is my model. And uh, I'm going to edit it. I'm going to load a different material into it. I'm going to load this mattress material. And I'm going to change this to 20, maybe 10. 10, so you, you know, or maybe 5. Okay, there you go, that's better. So, and there's my mattress material, and there's it working all the way around. So you can see that it does a pretty good job of mapping it, getting, getting those, figuring out the problem areas. And uh, so that's wrap R. And uh, once you get to hang it, it's pretty easy to use. As you can tell, it's a nice little tool uh, by Rich O'Brien. We really like it. So hope you enjoyed this, and uh, see you later. Bye.